Well, you know, that was pretty much good to be solved these days with the latest printers of being Wi-Fi connection and networkable and stuff like that. Some of us uh, that might not have that and have something in the way of a USB printer, it might be a bit difficult if you want to print something out on a computer that's not connected up to the printer, basically. And, uh, you know, probably have to email it across or put it on a USB stick and get it out, take it over to get it printed and stuff like that. But there is an alternative with uh, USB printers to actually put it onto a network. Or, well, yeah, have a have a networkable, so I'll be able to print without having it connected up to any way of my notebook here. And it's connected up over there on my desktop. So, uh, to show you how to do it, and first off, I'll uh, need to go over there and get everything set up. So, see you over there. So, it's pretty much just going to control panel, bring all this you know, devices or printers. And so I show where you got your actual printer to uh, yeah, share a network. So uh, go right click on it and you go to printer properties. You see here a tab, back up a bit. See here a tab called uh, sharing. Click that and you go to click the button there, share this printer. Obviously, yeah, make sure that's clicked as well. Change your name on it if you want to, or stuff like that. And I just left it the way it is. And you know, just hit apply and OK. Now, there's probably some other thing there that uh, you might need to deal with so as well to uh, pretty much see each other. You know, the networks and sharing center. I'm here to change advanced sharing settings. You go to remember where it is uh it turned you know obviously to make sure that's been turned on while in printer sharing make sure that's turned on but uh yes over not it not it uh, uh that's the one now it doesn't really matter if file sharing is 128 the encryption bit helps and drop it recommended let's mix one down as password protected sharing you make sure that it's actually turned off because we still like trying to you know see each other's computer and stuff like that it sort of like creates a bit of a firewall that you need you know, to like name and password and so sort of like not really necessary for like sharing a printer so you need to turn that off if you want to yeah you know, see a printer from another computer And we'll take it back to the uh, other computer you want to link up the printer to. Okay, I'm on my notebook here. So pretty much the same process of going to control panel, even though uh, old notebook of Windows 7. But uh, yeah, so if you pretty much go to, where is it? Devices and printers there. So it's already got the, the hooked up there, but if you just go to add a printer, uh, add a network printer you do a log a browse you can see there is actually picked up already so yeah that's there it's like the that potential you know, hit next you see the printer name and next again and just do a uh, print test page just to make sure it's working And uh, hot off the press. So uh, yeah, so that's yeah, pretty much how you do it. I haven't tried it to see if it works on anything in the, like a, a iPad or anything like that, but I don't see any reason why it shouldn't. And uh, probably the only other thing too, which uh, might need to uh, mention too, it uh, only works when you got the computer you got your printer hooked up to is turned on as well. So uh, just keep that in mind <laughs> when you want to do something like that if it's in that sort of setup. So consider subscribing down below. Until next time, have a good one.